Hello, this is Lady Gaga, and I am with your friends, Kevin and Mikkel, and you are watching my favorite online blog, The Scorpion Show. Oh, wait, I want a double sandwich. Hello YouTube, it's Kevin and Mikkel. We have been trying to record for 30 minutes and um, I'm ready now to record. And we really had an I don't live here moment and I'm pretty sure you guys did not want to see that. But before we get into this video, let me slide this camera over just a little bit. I'm going to slide it to your side so you can be in there. So a lot of people have noticed that the Scorpion Show now have commercials. And I understand that some of you guys are upset about it, but I'm not upset, and you shouldn't be either. The commercials normally are 30 seconds long, and you know I think that they're better for our show, especially when you need a break. So during the commercials, if you don't want to watch the ads, leave a comment. You know we need a lot of comments, and thumbs up the video, and press the like button. And during the commercials, share the video on Twitter and, and Facebook. Yeah, it only takes just like that. And Ooh, that's an I don't live here moment. So, um, and I'm, I'm really about to leave. So, yesterday, you know, I was sitting there on my phone, and I'm, I'm, Tamar texts me like, are you watching CNN? So I'm like, CNN? All right, Larry King on. I'm like, Barbara Walters? Why Tamar want me to watch Barbara Walters? So then I go to CNN.com, and I see... Bishop Eddie Long's face on the top the top board on CNN.com about how there's allegations of him, you know, manipulating teenagers at the time for sex and um, doing all kinds of stuff with these kids, flying them everywhere, sleeping in rooms with them, sharing the same beds, oral sex, masturbation. You know, there was a whole lot of allegations going on, and I'm like. Wow, because this is the man that protests, you know, gay people, gay marriage, and how it's not right and everything, and here it is, we're hearing allegations of you sleeping with, you know, men. So, Mikhail, how do you feel about that? Well, um, first of all, first of all, it's, um, this is, these allegations are allegedly these two guys. Yes are alleging that this stuff happened to them. Um, I, I have a lot to say, and I've said half of it on Twitter earlier today. Um, what bothered me when this news broke last night on CNN was the fact that after it broke, people on Twitter and online immediately started, you know, pointing the fingers at Eddie Long before we could even hear his side of the story. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a little unfair because this you know, there's always two sides to a story. Some people say it's three sides to a story. His, yours, and the truth. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's always two sides to a story. And I felt as though when these guys came out and, you know, you know, said that this stuff was going on, people should have given Eddie Long and his people a chance to come out and, you know, and respond to this. But instead, it was, oh, he did it. Oh, this is nothing new. This is what they do in the church. We, they've been doing it for years. This, that, and the third. And it really bothered me because I said to myself, just imagine if it was you or somebody you knew that these accusations were being brought yeah, against. Uh -huh. You wouldn't want people to go out there and say, oh, you did it. So-and-so did it. Because you would say, well, wait a minute. Give me a chance to defend myself. Mm -hmm. Now, this is my thing. I'm not defending any long, nor am I defending those two guys now, three. I'm not defending those guys who are bringing these charges against them. Because there's a lot of stuff that I think is a little fishy about this story. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on with this story. And I noticed a lot of bloggers today didn't mention that on some of their reviews of this Eddie Long thing. So I thought maybe we would mention that. I thought maybe we. You know what though? You know we was talking about this when Mikael came to my job. You know, but we're not gonna go there. But I just really think that it's. 
how can I say like it could be what's the word I'm looking for extortion extortion like they probably wanted well, money well let me just say this first for those of you who don't know that have been living on the, look, under a huge rock for the past 24 hours apparently there's these two guys who are members of New Birth Visionary Map Baptist Church. Twenty five thousand members. Twenty five thousand members to the church down in Lithonia, Georgia. Me and Miss Lithonia became really good friends over the <laughs> day week. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in Atlanta watching this okay. Okay. show. So me and Miss Lithonia became good friends over Labor Day week. It was Labor Day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, Labor Day yeah we weekend. became really good friends over Labor Day weekend. But anyway, that's neither here or there. So so um, How you doing? These boys joined the church a few years ago with their families and whatnot, and they joined like this uh, this little academy thing that Eddie Long, who was also in charge of there at the church, and um, uh, apparently the uh, Eddie Long, who was the bishop, he apparently took some type of liking to these two boys, and he became their spiritual father and they became his spiritual sons um i'm reading from the notes that i got right here apparently they did he the boys are uh, saying that eddie long uh uh did some type of private spiritual ceremony to mark a covenant between the two of them. the two of them um basically saying that you know it's basically like a marriage without necessarily being a marriage it's like a marriage wow. So, um, what I, what kind of, well, this is what I want to say. Fast forward to this year, June of this year. One of the guys, um, Anthony Flagg is his name. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to say his name, but since everybody yeah, is I mean, saying it's his out name, there. it's out there, so yeah. I said I'll say it. One of the guys, Anthony Flagg, um, no, I'm sorry, not Anthony Flagg. It was Maurice Robinson. I'm sorry. Anthony Flagg is one of the guys, but Maurice Robinson is the gentleman that I was think, talking about. He was um, when arrested I for breaking into Bishop Eddie Long's office at Newburgh back in June, and apparently he um, he was tr trying to steal thirteen hundred dollars worth of valuables like inside, and you know stuff. all that type of stuff. Now this is the problem that I had. <clears throat> well, and this is the reason why Mr. Robinson said he did it. He said he did it because he found out that what was going on between him and the bishop was also going on between the bishop and another boy. Oh, so he wow. said in retaliation Asian. to that, he decided to do that because he was angry. Uh -huh. Now, wow. I found that to be a little... Now, mind you, a lot of bloggers didn't mention that, so I thought I'd mention it. Yeah, I've seen the retaliation part because yeah. the lawyer said it. But, but you know, a lot, wow. of, but a lot yeah. of bloggers didn't, mention, that out. didn't mm -hmm. mention it, so I thought we'd mention that. So I thought that was a little strange. I said, you know, why... If, if you're angry, if you're sincerely angry about this happening why didn't you just take this to a family member I mean this happened in 2010 and both gentlemen are 20 and 21 so you're grown men but this you allegedly know, happened when they were 17 yeah and this, this act all this all the stuff that they're claiming happened happened when they were young when they were mm -hmm. teenagers but the whole breaking happened this that yeah, happened this year. this year so that means so, they were still doing yeah something. so apparently they were still found but whatever the case may be they found out the boy the guy found out this year about all this, so he decided to break into Eddie Long's office and steal all this stuff. Which I thought was kind of weird because I felt as though if you're trying to retaliate, why don't you just let somebody in your family know or why don't you call the police? I mean you are an adult, you know how to pick up the phone and call 911 and let them know what is happening. But yet you decide to break into his office and steal all this stuff and then you get caught in the process. Then what I thought was also weird is that now, three months later, two and a half or three months later, you decide, oh, by the way, this guy has been molesting me. Well, not molesting, well, well, well doing sexual doing acts, sexual acts with, me. with me for the past three Couple or four years. years. Yeah. And, I, I mean, I thought that was a little weird. I, I, that was, mean, I don't think it was weird. It was just like, like, you probably didn't help me, so you know what? I'm going to come forward. No. I'm going to come, you know. Yeah. I'm just gonna 
let everybody know what's going on. Yeah, but that's what I'm. You. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I mean. I thought that was a little weird that all of a sudden now, after you were arrested, that now all of a sudden, oh, let me just bring this up. You were because, enjoying it yeah, while it was happening. That's what I said because you know what's so funny, and I'm not like I said, I'm not taking sides to anything because I'm trying to figure out why a pastor would have fifteen hundred dollars worth of valuables in his it's office. It's an iPad, an iPhone. I didn't understand that. And all of that. I mean, but it's in your office. Yeah, but you but thirteen, but thirteen hundred. Okay, this Kevin. is twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, but we're talking about thirteen hundred dollars okay. worth of different. Oh, what is that? Yeah, worth of different things. Your iPhone. I mean, but it's in your office. You wouldn't expect nobody to go into your. No, office you wouldn't expect nobody sure. to do that. But stuff like that, I'm going to get into. You know, the whole money situation too yeah. in the in the minute. I think I just think that you know what, both of them are. Both of them are in That's why I said this. It's something fishy it's, because yeah. when this stuff, when apparently, when allegedly, when this stuff was happening. These boys were 17 and 16 or 18, whatever the case may be, and they claimed that the bishop was buying them clothes, he was giving them electronics, things like that. Now, you're, you're old, when you're 16 and 17, you're old enough to know right from wrong. There you go. You're old enough to know right from wrong, and you're old enough to know that when somebody is trying to do something that they shouldn't be doing to you, you're old enough to go to, to, go to somebody and tell them, look, this is what's happening. Now, I can understand, I can understand if you were 6 or 7, mm -hmm. but you're 16 and 17. You're a junior and a sophomore in high school. You know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. But this is the part that I didn't understand. I guess when they were getting all those trinkets and things like that, it really didn't phase them mm -hmm. too much. When they were getting all the clothes and stuff. No, I, I'm trying to tell you. He was probably asking for money or he was saying, I need you to help me out. Mm -hmm. And because that didn't happen, they came pu public with the story. Because mm -hmm. at 16, I know what the hell I was doing at 16. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. I know exactly what I'm doing at 16. Mm -hmm. And, and apparently in the state of Georgia, which I thought was very weird, 16 is the legal age. And yes, and here too. No, I thought it was eight. No, it was 18 here. No, 16. If you have sex with someone that's older, like an adult, no, I could have sworn it's No, it's 16. If it's consensual, it's fine. And I'm pretty sure it was consensual because you were taking all these gifts, mm -hmm. flying to New Zealand for your 18th birthday. But what I want to know is why was he the only one that went to New Zealand? For the 18th birthday, but but then and but then on Twitter I was asking where were the parents, and then people were telling me, well, you know, when you come from a single mother home, and this is the pastor, and you know, you trust the pastor, bull. Shit. No, 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 no Allowing my child to fly out of the oh, country, see, on, to fly it, out of yeah. the country alone with my pastor. That's a no-no. I don't care how much spiritual advisor he is. That is a no-no. No, but you know what? Though? But see, Nancy, that's where it's different. But because I'm trusting you as a pastor. Yeah, I'm trusting you, you at you, church, you, not in no, New Zealand. Okay, but at if church. I'm giving you the permission no. to go out that, no, no, with my child, been, no, it shouldn't have been that. It you shouldn't know, have been that. That's, because that's, that's the same thing with Michael Jackson. You know what, though? They trusted their but kids Michael But Jackson. you know what, no. But see, you don't even know what that was true with Michael Jackson. No, 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 no. I don't believe that. But it's true Michael Jackson. But, 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 wait, can you just let me say Go ahead, listen. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, before, you know, now, if you done heard all these allegations against Michael Jackson before, she, I, I call her still right there, I think. If you hear all these allegations against Michael Jackson, right, now then you be cautious. But you don't never hear nothing about no Bishop Eddie Long. You see him on TV. I seen him on Keisha Cole giving her family advice. You, If you trust someone, you won't automatically think, okay, this is what he's doing with my child, you know? But, but, but I mean, I'm not, it's, just, it's, just a, it's just that, that, you know, like if I had a child, and you want to take my child to New Zealand with you. I wouldn't feel, oh, Mikel want to do something with my child. I wouldn't think like that. But, but no, no, no. But let me just make something clear. I am not saying that I believe that Michael Jackson did any of that stuff. Okay. Let's just make that clear. What I'm saying is, this is what happens when you supposedly trust someone. Because somebody made somebody made a comment on, actually was Tron, what's the tip? Mm -hmm. He made a comment on Twitter about people with wealth and power, you, you somehow trust, trust people. Them. But... but 
But you see where, why would you trust your child with someone with wealth and power? Look what happened with Michael Jackson. Let, let me just say this, let me just say this. These parents supposedly trust Michael Jackson and then look what turned around to happen. Then all of a sudden they claiming that he touched their kids. Now see, this is why you don't trust people let me, with love and power let me, let with me, your kids. Let me put it to you like this. And wait, let me just say this one last thing. This is not the first time, this Eddie Long story is not the first time we heard about pastors touching oh, no, kids. No, okay, so, you hear all the time in the Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying though, you never heard it against Bishop Eddie Long. Let me say in a term where you will probably understand me even more, right? Yes. Okay, you had a daughter. No, you had a son. Right. John, I know what no, you're about to no, say. No, okay. Now let and, me say. Let me say. Let me say. You have a son, mm -hmm. right? And Beyonce said, "You know what, Mikael? Let me take your child over to New Zealand." Mm -hmm. Now you love Beyonce, right? Mm -hmm. You love her music. You love everything about her. Mm -hmm. Now look at it through a pastor standpoint. Beyonce is the pastor. Mm -hmm. You know everyone loves her. You know he talks to everyone. He speaks with everyone. And he offers to take your child with him to New Zealand. Do you really think in your mind that something wrong is going to happen with your child? No. And let me tell you something. Too? I don't know. I don't think in my mind for one minute that Beyonce or Pastor Eddie Long is going to try anything with my child. Okay. But as a parent, I am not letting my child go with any adult alone out of the country just the two of them. It was just them two? It was just the two oh, of see, them. I didn't know no, that. No, 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 I'm thinking that, I'm thinking this by itself with other people. It was the oh, boy no. and the pastor. Okay. There is no way on earth, I don't care if it's Beyonce or Matthew, no. Okay. My child is okay. not going okay. out now of the country with just one that. person. Okay. Because this okay. similar okay. situation happened with my sister. My sister was, was an honor student in high school. Her mm -hmm. last year in high school, she was an honor student. And she was a part of all those honor society clubs and whatnot. She was invited to go over to London her last year in high school, not by herself with anybody, but it was a group of kids who were selected to fly over to London with, you know, teachers and whatnot for the honor society thing. My mom said, no, you cannot go. Because it's not that you think that, oh, my child's going to get molested. It's just you as a parent, you're protective of your kids. Why would you want, why would you allow your child to fly over somewhere that far of a distance by themselves? And then on his 18th birthday. But the thing that gets me, that really gets me, is that these guys are alleging that Eddie Long gave them cars. This is what I don't understand. You know what though? It, it, what kind ahead. of parent? Okay, because my mother, Marcita McClendon, I could probably, I, never met. I could probably, because as nosy as my mom is, I doubt it, but I could probably get away with sneaking a cell phone in the house. I could probably get away with sneaking an iPod in the house. I cannot get away with sneaking car keys in the house. Because the first thing my mother's going to say is, whose car is that? And then when I say, oh, it's mine, she's going to say, who gave it to you? Then she, I, I say, who gave it to me? Then she's going to say, hold pause. Why would the pastor be giving you a car? She's, I don't understand how these parents allow these, their kids to accept gifts like that from their pastor. There ain't that much pastoring in the world. It ain't that much pastoring in the world that I will allow my child to accept a car from a pastor. That don't make no kind of sense. Now everybody was pointing the fingers. Everybody was pointing the fingers. Everybody was pointing. Oh, okay. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that commercial. It's actually 8.50. And we're still trying to record since 7.35. So, um, what, I, what, what Mikael was saying, you know, we were just, you know, going, because child, we had to stop, because, you know. But we back, we were talking about, you know, the trust in going places with taking, letting your children go on places with other people. Yes. You know, but it, it, to me, it's just like if I trust someone, I shouldn't have that thought in the back of my mind. But would you allow your child to go off to another country alone? We're just no, no, because I, I didn't know that. You shake up that cup again, I'm going to slap you in your face. I don't live here. And I really will. And I don't care. And if you want to raise it, you come get her. Because that's how I feel right now. So, um, you let me hear her shake up again. I don't live here. So, yeah, but this, like, like I was, like I'm saying, like, if I fully trust someone, I really wouldn't expect them to do that with my child. No, you wouldn't so, expect. So, that's why I'm saying, like, for me, like, but I didn't know it was going to another country, let alone by themselves, you know, now that's something else it's to think about, because, you know, like, when I was in school, you know, we had some students 
that was spending night at the teacher house. It was like female students though. No. But you wouldn't think that. No. Oh my God! Like what if something came no. out today? I mean, there's no. You know what? Mama. She didn't shake it. Boston. Boston. Bob. I don't live here. I don't live. You got the nerve to come into Beyonce at this hour, at this time? Ah, oh, that was the Dougie. Oh. I don't know how to do it, and I don't want nobody to teach me. Well, <laughs> some people I do. But, um, <laughs> especially if you know how to Dougie. And I ain't talking about the dance. So, um, <laughs> I'm talking about knowledge. How you doing? <laughs> so, let's get back to Eddie Long, okay? Now, you know, as we're recording this, there's a third allegation against him. And people are starting to come forward. Now, just imagine, three people coming forward. How long had he's been doing this for? Allegedly, mm -hmm. allegedly. Don't try to sue us. Allegedly, um, it's just sad. But you know what? When all of this, when you look at all of this, nine times out of ten, it's true. And I, I'm really hoping it's not true because he has a big church. And you know, sometimes when you do things in the dark, and when that spotlight comes on you. You have to man up and say, you know what? I did it. He don't have to do it today. He might deny it, but honestly, like, you're a man of God, and you you say all of these things, you do all this preaching, and then you turn around and you're not practicing what you're teaching, preaching, excuse me, and teaching. You know, like, how, how do you expect someone to respect you if you say oh you shouldn't go out and do this and oh, can you please turn it down oh you shouldn't go out and do that and you out there doing the same thing but you telling other people that they shouldn't do it that makes people lose respect for you and if this is true i really think that he should step down how do you feel you think he should step down he should not only step he should not only step uh -oh. down but i'm sure there's type some type of legal thing that's Not probably going right to be now. brought against him. Um, I just want to say this. I want to say a few things. And no, settle, and no settling out of court, bitch. This is what I want to say. There were a lot of people who were saying that, um, you know, with these, with these accusers, because a lot of people were saying last night, let's wait until we hear both sides of the story to find out what was happening. There were a lot of people who said, oh, well, there's no need to wait, because why would these guys lie? Mm -hmm. And I had to say to myself, well, first of all, how can you say something foolish like that? Mm -hmm. There are people who lie every day. Okay, Michael Jackson is my dad. Stuff. You have, let me just, I have two prime examples of why you can't say, why would they lie? That woman in South Carolina who smothered her two kids. That was sad. And then strapped them in her car and then drove her car into the river and then lied and said that somebody else did it and then finally admitted to it. Why would she lie? What about the woman in Washington State last week who threw acid in her own face, burned her face up and lied and said that a black woman did it and then confessed and said, no, actually I did it myself. Why would she lie and do that? So when you people say, well, why would they lie on Eddie Long? Why would they lie? Why wouldn't they lie? I'm not saying that they are lying, but thank you. People lie every day about all different types of things. So don't give me that. Oh, I don't, I don't need to hear what Eddie Long has to say because why would these boys lie? Why wouldn't they lie? When you have 13... Well, why wouldn't you want to hear two sides of the story? Yeah, why wouldn't you? That's what I don't understand. Why wouldn't you want to hear two sides of the story? I mean, come on. When you have $1,300... When you have $1,300 of items just sitting around in your office, when you drive around in a $350,000 Bentley, when you live in a $1.4 million house, I still don't understand how people are allowing their pastor to live this extravagantly. I mean, whatever happened to the days when your pastor used to live around the corner from you or down the street from you? I mean, we all know about our pastor driving nice cars. Time shame. But I mean, three a Bentley? You know they be packing in that money. But I mean, but come on, a Bentley. But he got a $25,000 church. But a I mean, member church. Talk about being arrogant. I think that's arrogant. I, and you know, he says that his charity that, that he asked and he's earned that, that money. Is yes, he has. Yeah, that is. But I mean, come on, Kevin. A, a 300... A three, so I should live no, regularly? No, you should, no, you should not. No, you should not live regularly. 
But at the same time, I would, me personally, I wouldn't dare drive the church in a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar car. I just wouldn't do that. So I would be that stuck up. I think that's being arrogant. No, I, I mean, if, if you, you have, have the money, yeah, you damn no, it. I'm not saying that. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying. Say, I'm not saying that. Say some expensive. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that Eddie Long shouldn't live the way he wants to live yeah. because that's his money. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do with it. But what I'm saying is, when you have a church with people who live in the community, regular average people, and you're driving to church in a $350,000 car, especially when half the people who probably go to your can church barely are, afford can barely afford to pay their bills, and they're going to your church to hear some type of inspiration, some type of guidance, and you're pulling up in a $350,000 car. But you gotta car. remember though, Mikel, he is a televangelist too. Yeah, he is a televangelist. He money that's from why I'm saying. So. That's why I'm saying. I'm not faulting him for the money. I'm just saying, be a little bit more mindful of what you do. I mean, come on. I mean, I, that's I, just like that's just, that's just really like saying, okay, most singers out there, they got all this money. They walk around with expensive clothes, Louis Vuitton, three point four million dollar house, but you don't three point four million see, dollar cars. You, but you can't put a singer and a pastor in okay, the same category because, because they, they, if these pastors are they're making money. Yeah, but these pastors are people that you go to that, first of all, we all know for years people have been saying that pastors have been corrupt in the church. Yeah, yeah. So then for you to walk up with a $350,000 $350, car and then you're living in a $1.4 million house, I mean, come Oh, so he should buy a Toyota. No, he shouldn't buy a Toyota. But so I'm saying, saying he it would be nice if he pulled up to church You know what, though? It shouldn't matter. It would be nice It shouldn't if he matter that. what kind of house I have, what kind of car I drive. You're coming to my church yes, you to are. hear the word. Yes, you are now, if you word. don't like but I don't want you no, to be up on that phone no, 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 tell me you no, feel how no, I feel no, about the reception no, when you have a no, one point four million dollar like, house. If you don't, you, know, don't you don't know how I feel about the You don't know who he's giving money to in the church. If you don't like oh. the way I live, then damn it, don't you sign up to be a member of my church because there's plenty of churches to go to, it sure especially is. in the it south. Sure is. If you don't like the way I it live. It sure is. But it's a thing about it's called being responsible. There's no, no way you can be, there's no way that you can get on that pulpit and preach about all oh, you know how people feel about struggling and this that, and the third. When you live up in a you know what Mikel like you know what it's the same thing right? Let's say like they watch the Scorpion show right? Okay, we start making all this money. We start wearing Burberry, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all this shit right? So people gonna be like, oh well, I shouldn't watch them because they making all of this money and no, stuff, that's and they not just what I'm saying. wanting it in that's our face. That's not what I'm saying. That's, you know, that's, not, what saying. that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Because first of all, but first hear, of all, we have to say. But first of all, we're not flaunting it in their no, face. We're not. we're not flaunting it in but their what face. But I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I don't have a problem with him making all that money. Yeah, he is a televangelist, and he is gonna make all that money. I don't have a problem with that. But when you have a parking spot at the church that says for Pastor Reserve, and you have a Bentley sitting in that parking spot. Come on now. A that is, is my that spot. Car, that car is worth more than half of those people's houses that Shit. come to school. Shit. The principal at a school will have their own spot. The yeah. principal spot. Yeah. And just because they don't have a Bentley doesn't mean that they can't park there and all the other teachers feel bad. No. I just, I just think that that's a little extravagant. I mean, that's to you. I mean, he's, he got money. Yeah, he does. And yeah. You don't know who he's giving money to in the church on the side. But it's not about who he's giving the money look at to. Way, it's it's child, look what he's doing with the money. Ooh, child. Yeah. Let's not go. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, Eddie Long, though, if this is true, boom, step down. Step down, and you're just a fraud, and you're doing all these speeches that gave. You know, gay marriage shouldn't be right, and you're Molly. such a crusader for anti gay stuff. And then you out there sucking dick. That you know what? That just don't. And that's not cool. Isn't true. Those guys who are oh yeah, they should go to jail for lying and falsifying and stuff. Yeah, they should be ashamed of this. Like we said, there are two sides to every story, and Kevin and I tried our best tonight to give you two sides. Yeah. We didn't want to give you one side because that's what a lot of people have been doing. We want to give you two sides. And on Friday when we return, because we hear Eddie Long is having a press conference tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. We'll be talking about it Friday, cause you know we gotta boil over into Friday and until you next know how week. we do. No, it's gonna boil over until we oh, get the truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay? okay. It's but gonna be I a mean, long time before long. we hear. Okay? You and got a long, a lot of long <laughs> stuff to get to. And let me tell you something. Eddie Long ain't long enough to be with me. Okay? He, you couldn't. But his money is long enough. Yeah, that is. 
Child, I mean, I mean, for a couple of dollars, I mean. I might see how long it. You know, you're you pulling up in a three hundred fifty thousand dollar car. His money better be long. Okay, I'm sure that's and some only, people out there. I'm sure that's you know what? That though? is long. And sometimes money do make you look. You know, make you forget about how ugly they are, and make you want to do some stuff. Because Jay Z, don't do it. If I looked at him on the street, don't do him. it. To, but now, why you gotta make this? Into, why you gotta do that? Don't do that. You love me. Don't do that. But you might have to breathe. Oh, no. Now, oh, that. Who we can go on, okay? Who we can go on. Don't do it. <laughs> Janet, yeah. what were you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we're ending this video. Talk to y'all later. <laughs> <laughs>